The fifth season of Cobra Kai is set to come out later this year, and super fans of the show are doing what they do best, coming up with some extremely intriguing fan theories. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the best and most popular theory about the show's upcoming season, as well as some more Cobra Kai related news. So let's dive in. First up is Tori vs. Sam. With the show as popular as Cobra Kai, some crazy fan theories are to be expected, but the one we're talking about today isn't just the most popular one, it's also the most realistic one. And if it's true, it'll make the longtime rivalry between Tori and Sam even better. But first, let's talk about the two fighters and their beef. Ever since season 2, Tori and Sam have been part of a feud that has included pretty much everything. And by everything, we mean everything. They've had karate disputes, love disputes, and even family disputes. While the fight between the two at school seemed like the end of this beef, the problems between the two have continued throughout the show. Sam spent most of the third season being afraid of Tori, but in the fourth season, she finally regained her confidence. She immediately started attacking Tori and even tried to embarrass her during work once. Most recently, the two fought at the end of the All Valley Karate Tournament, in which Tori defeated Sam to become the very first champion of the women's category. We later find out that the fight was actually rigged. So what's this new theory that could make this already thrilling rivalry even better? Next we have the best season 5 theory. This new theory adds a whole new layer to the story. It states that one of the villains from Karate Kid Part 3, Mike Barnes, aka Bad Boy Karate, will join Cobra Kai season 5. Fans believe that he'll be revealed as Tori's father and this would make the feud between her and Sam even more complicated. It would also connect the show to the third Karate Kid movie. Sam and Tori already hate each other so much. Now, now, imagine if it turns out that the rivalry is actually generational. That would raise the stakes of the show to a whole new level. So why do fans believe Mike Barnes will come back? We know that Cobra Kai loves bringing back characters from the OG movies, especially the villains. Towards the end of season 1, John Kreese was brought back from the dead, and he went on to become the big bad of the second season. In season 3, a villain from the second Karate Kid movie, Chosen, was brought back, but this time, he was a friend. And that's not all. Terry Silver from Karate Kid 3 also joined the show as season 4's biggest villain. However, now there's not many more characters left from the Karate Kid trilogy to bring back. As far as villains are concerned, the only one yet to show up is Mike Barnes. So it isn't really a reach to assume that he'll finally be making an appearance in this upcoming season. So how could Mike join Cobra Kai? Mike Barnes being a part of this upcoming season would also make a lot of sense on a plot level. We see Terry Silver tell Kreese that he knows a friend or two who could help run the Cobra Kai Dojo franchise. Guess who Terry worked with in Karate Kid 3? Mike Barnes, of course. It is thus pretty likely that Bad Boy Karate is one of the friends that he mentions. So Mike could possibly appear in the fifth season and become one of the newest managers of the expanded show. And not just that, fans believe that he'll also be revealed to be Tori's father. Now on to Tori's mysterious dad. Since her character was introduced to the audience, the identity of Tori's parents has been one of the most widely discussed topics of the show. We know that she grew up taking care of her sick mother and little brother all by herself. But not only have we never seen her mother, we also don't know anything about who her father is or where he's been all this time. This theory proposes that Mike is Tori's father, and that she entered the world of martial arts because of him. Fans have pointed out that the two characters even look alike, and Tori's aggressive combat style might also also be the result of Mike's training. Fans also believe that the reason Mike isn't around is because he abandoned his family at some point, which will make his return so much more dramatic and impactful. Up next, what Mike's return will mean for the show. No villain in the Karate Kid trilogy came as close to breaking Darusa's spirit as Mike Barnes. If Mike makes his return in Cobra Kai, the epic rivalry between the two incredible fighters could be reignited. And like we mentioned before, if Mike does turn out to be Tori's dad, that would mean that the feud was never really over. So far, the hate between Sam and Tori isn't related to who their parents are, but this reveal could add a whole new dimension to their fight. Many years after the third Karate Kid film, we could actually see a double confrontation between the Barnes and the LaRussos. Now that sounds absolutely delicious. This new addition could make the show even better, and fans cannot wait to see if the theory is actually true. Please wake us up when September comes. And that's all about Cobra Kai's best season 5 theory. Now let's talk about some more related news. Teaser for the fifth season of Cobra Kai has been released. Fans have been desperately waiting for a taste of the new season of Cobra Kai, and now the show has given them one heck of a present by releasing the action-packed teaser trailer for the fifth season. We see that Tori has not yet revealed that the fight she supposedly won against Sam was actually rigged. Since Miyagi Do Karate had to shut down towards the end of the last season, the series is now the dojo for kids to fight in. This means that Terry Silver's cruel and no mercy fighting style will now spread across the city. Once again, our hero Danny LaRusso will have to find a way to stop Terry from using children to elevate his status. He recruits Johnny Lawrence to cut the head of the Cobra Kai Viper once and for all. Whether or not they're successful in their attempts remains to be seen, but it's clear that this new season is going to be its most eventful one yet. How I Met Your Mother foreshadowed Cobra Kai. Remember How I Met Your Mother? The long-running CBS sitcom had one of the best runs on television ever, only to end in the most disappointing way imaginable. Still, the show was a huge success, and its breakout character Barney Stinson, played by the wonderful Neil Patrick Harris, is regarded as one of the best sitcom characters of all time. Recently, fans have pointed out that the show successfully foreshadowed the existence of Cobra Kai, years before it was even announced. Our characters pay a visit to Barney's childhood home. Marshall notices that the Karate Kid poster above Barney's bed and comments on it approvingly. Barney then gives a short 
monologue where we find that he believes that the true hero of the movies is Johnny Lawrence. He even calls Johnny the Karate Kid. From that point onwards, Barney's love for Johnny and his stance that he's the real hero of the Karate Kid becomes a reoccurring joke throughout the rest of the show. In fact, both William Zabka and Ralph Macho even turn up in the season 8 episode, The Bro Mitzvah. In the final season of the show, Ralph becomes a supporting character on the show and appears in six episodes as a guest at Barney and Robin's wedding. What makes this joke work is that Barney was actually right. If you look at things from a different perspective, Johnny didn't really do anything wrong. He was just unlucky as he got coached by ruthless John Kreese instead of the wise and kind Mr. Miyagi. This is the same principle that essentially led to the creation of Cobra Kai. The show's creators were well aware of How I Met Your Mother's Johnny Lawrence joke, but they claimed that it didn't directly factor into the creation of the show. They did, however, mention that it gave them confidence that other people saw what they saw as well. Obliterated moving from TBS to Netflix. Obliterated, the upcoming action TV show by the creators of Cobra Kai, has been moved from TBS to Netflix. This news comes nearly three years after it was announced that the show was picked up by TBS. The show is billed as an action comedy about an elite special forces team that stops a deadly threat to Las Vegas. After their extravagant celebratory party, the team discovers that the bomb they deactivated was actually a fake. The now intoxicated team has to overcome their impairments and personal issues, locate the real bomb, and save Sin City. The first season of the show is set to have eight 45-minute episodes and will come out on Netflix sometime next year. Knowing how talented and capable the creators of the show are, it's definitely going to be a blast. We can't wait. That's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on the new Cobra Kai theory? Let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!